What's up guys, Tom here with Team Golden Age coming at you with one of my favorite decks of all time and that is Shadal's. Um, bit of a budget version here for the Trap variant. Uh, trying just to give people a different something different they can play at uh, locals. Uh, this could potentially be competitive at a regional level, but at least at the locals. Uh, could uh, steal some wins and be a lot of fun. Uh, so one thing you will need is three of these. The uh, Shadal Structure decks, Shadal Showdown. Uh, plus probably about $75 or so, um, depending on uh, what hand traps you already own, like some, some staples, um, and depending on what rarities you want to go with. So to start off, we got the Shadal lineup. We got three Wendy, which uh, this card fixed a lot of problems the deck had before, which was putting monsters on board. Um, and it allows you to uh, special summon one from the deck and just kind of fix whatever you need uh, to get from the deck. Then another card that just kind of uh, toolboxes whatever you need is a Squamata. Uh, three of those, uh, just especially that uh, Foolish effect when it's sent to the graveyard, uh, will always, always be good uh, in Shadal's. Uh, two Hedgehog, uh, both effects are super handy, uh, either searching a spell trap or searching uh, a monster, especially if you do something like uh, the App Cologne, you can... Uh, Search a Hedgehog, pitch it, and then you can add whatever Shadal card you need to hand. Uh, something like that, if it ever comes up, is something you can do. Uh, next, another one of the uh, newer cards, uh, Ariel. Uh, this card uh, is really, really good this format. A lot of decks like to play out of the graveyard. Uh, you send this card off of Sinister Shadow Games or uh, something like uh, some of the other traps like uh, Paleozoic Dinomiscus or anything else that can... Uh, just send it to grave on your opponent's turn, and it just basically banishes all the cards that they need. You know, it hurts Eldritch. It hurts a lot of decks right now uh, in the format that just want to play with their graveyard. Uh, I'm playing one Kaios uh, simply because it is a late target. Um, the effect doesn't really ever come up, but sometimes uh, playing things like Two Hedgehog or uh, Squamata, uh, being able to put that in the grave and then you Schism, to summon a construct just to get your plays uh, snowballing again. Uh, it, it actually does come up. Uh, we got one beast. Uh, two of them is kind of a brick. But though you still need to play one. Draws are always good. And then uh, one dragon. Um, MST uh, or something like a compulse. This card is just always going to be uh, ridiculously good. Uh, that's it for the Shadal lineup. Uh, then we have one uh, damage juggler. One trick clown. Uh, just your light targets. Uh, one gets the other. They both interact with the graveyard. Um, and just allow you to continue making more plays. Uh, the one hand trap in the deck is uh, the Ash Blossoms. Uh, like I said uh, before, this is probably the most expensive card outside the deck that you know you might already have. Um, this card is just really good this format um, or whatever your hand traps you think you need. Uh, you can also just play more back row. Uh, instead of playing the Ash Blossoms. Uh, then we have the probably the best card in the deck. Uh, three Shadal Fusions. This card broke the game when it came out. It's still breaking the game. This card is still absolutely uh, insane uh, in the current meta. Uh, being able just to summon whatever you need. And kind of toolboxing things out. Uh, whatever Shadals you need just sends them to the grave. Uh, then we got two El Shadal Fusions. Uh, I like the Quick Play Fusion. Uh, something like the Magisus Engine also works. Uh, but I like the being able to have the uh, the quick play uh, fusion in case you don't have access to schism or something uh, you know you want to chain in response to it uh, to get monsters off the board. You you want to have that El Shadal fusion. Uh, and then lastly for the spells, this is kind of a uh, interesting card. This format, it's Book of Moon. Um, a lot of people are playing it all of a sudden now that it's back at three for the first time in forever. Uh, it's really really good. Especially the interaction with something like Virtual World or being able to put a zoo monster face down if you're facing zoo. Um, and then all of your monsters are flip monsters. So putting them face down isn't the worst thing in the world if you absolutely have to. If you want to set it um, uh, like something like a Wendy and then be able to flip Wendy again uh, then on the next turn. Uh, you absolutely can because of this card. Uh, so there's a few interactions with that that come up. Uh, allowing it to be uh, used for uh, an offense and defense. Uh, three Sinister Shadow games. Uh, this dumps any Shadal card from the deck to the graveyard, then flips all your set Shadal monsters. 
Uh, I'm glad to see this cards come back into play uh, in the current format. Um, this card always was seemed to be like a really good one of, and now it's like a three of staple in Shadal because it kind of gets a lot of your plays going, um, and like it dumps the aerial and just banishes your opponent's entire graveyard. Um, two Shadal schisms. You probably could get away with one depending on your budget, but two seems to be a lot better. Uh, in case you you need you need the second one, uh, and sometimes it does come up, but this card's absolutely insane. It fixed a lot of uh, I think issues of being able to not be uh, once your Shadals kind of went to the graveyard, they they were kind of a dead resource. But this kind of keeps them alive, and uh, also that other effect of being able just to send a monster to the graveyard, uh, something like a Dragoon can be sent. So it is something that does come up if you can uh, have Schism already face up on the field. And then lastly, for the Shadal cards, uh, one Rest Shadal Incarnation. Uh, this card's another one that came out in the Structure deck. And it's just it's super, super good being able to combo with it or, you know, using its actual, like, Reborn effect uh, does come up every once in a while. Then for your Standard Traps, um, we got three Compulse, three Dinomiscus, and two Torrential Tribute. Um... Ice Dragon's Prison is the ideal card to play in this, but like I said before, I was trying to go with a little bit of a budget version here. Um, and Ice Dragon Prison is probably worth more than the entire uh, main deck um, by itself. Uh, so these are just a generically good removal cards. Compulse, uh, there's a lot of decks right now that are just putting up like one or two monsters and getting, you know, Zoo's cards off the field virtual world monsters off the field after they've been targeting uh that just seems really really good this format to you know deal with things like that uh or you know bouncing an alistair back to hand so they can't you know link away into uh something like the magistus um to get their plays going uh dino miscus uh its discard is on the as part of the effect uh, so it will trigger all your shadows it's not part of the cost um, and it banishes any face-up card, so it does also serve as a form of spell trap removal. And then Torrential just gets monsters off the board. Um, you know, Shadals don't really uh, flood the field that much, but, you know, you can let your opponent play, and then you just flip Torrential, and then you're going to be able to trigger your Shadal effects uh, while wiping their board. Uh, that's it for the main deck. It's a clean 40 cards. Uh, on to the extra deck. You're going to want to play three Construct. Again, available in the Structure deck. Uh, if you can find them anywhere online or some Walmart still have them. Uh, Construct just gets all your plays going. Uh, and this card, when it was on the Forbidden and Limited list, uh, it, it kind of hurt the deck. But now that it's back, it's 100% of three of. And just probably the best extra deck monster uh, here. Um, second, maybe... Uh, probably a very close second's Winda. A lot of times if you just make Winda turn one or have access to Winda on your opponent's turn and locking them out of special summons, uh, you just win the game, especially when you back it up with traps. Uh, Winda can't be popped by opponent's um, card effects. And it's just, like I said, just locking your opponent out of special summoning is pretty good, especially considering how fast the game has become, even though it's a little bit of a slower format. And then lastly, we're going to play three App Cologne, uh, because uh, Schism's a really good card. Uh, you're going to have a lot of different Shadal um, types in the graveyard, so you kind of want to max out an App Cologne. And then uh, you can also play things like um, Dogmatica Punishment for your App Cologne, and uh, just... Uh, being able to like dump it and then search any uh, Shadal card that you need uh, is really, really good. Um, that's it for your fusions. Uh, we're going to play one uh, Appaloosa. There's some times, like turn two, you're able to make it. Uh, ideally, this probably is access code talker. Um, but like I said, again, budget version. Uh, you can get Appaloosa, uh, the gold uh, series, for around 4 to $5 while... Uh, I believe Access Code Talker is easily going for over seventy dollars. Um, Appaloosa still always, it probably is going to always be a really good link for uh, in the game. Uh, then you have your Nightmare Unicorn for generic removal. Um, sometimes you just it it comes up and you just need to get rid of some stuff off the uh, field for the opponent. Uh, one should all construct. Um, I never thought this card would be playable, but it actually is a, a decent card, uh, especially when you need it to be able to link off some of your uh, Shadal monsters and then uh, 
be able to put the light on the board and um, it also its effect um, allows you to fusion summon with it. And then we also play one Nightmare Phoenix, just generic removal. Uh, always going to be good in the game. Uh, one Artifact Dagda, uh, something that a lot of people have been uh, playing of late is they've cut Cross Sheep for something like uh, Lambda. But Dagda is the only a 200 attack point difference. Uh, uh, Lambda is better if you are going to play a Gamma package. But Dagda can set something like Scythe, and then it will make your opponent think twice about um, using Lightning Storm or Harpy's Feather Duster on into your back row of three or four cards uh, where they just can't blow you out and win or else they're going to be locked out of playing for a turn. Uh, so Dagda can actually come up and potentially steal you a lot of matches. Uh, then we also have two Link ones. We're going to play the Artemis because you can link away any of your Shadal Spellcaster monsters that are level four or lower and just put a light on the board, which you need in order to make Construct and kind of do all your uh, wombo combos with the deck. Uh, and then lastly, one Gravity Controller because there are times you want to summon your uh, Shadal Fusion monster in an extra monster zone and then you just link it away and you add you know the El Shadal Fusion back so that you can uh, OTK or add the Shadal Fusion back. It, it comes up quite a bit that you need to be able to link them away from the extra monster zone. Uh, I'm going to go over the side deck really quick. Again, as I say in I think all of my videos, uh, your side deck should be built uh, for whatever local meta you're playing in or whatever uh, regional remote dual extravaganza, whatever you're playing in. Always uh, try to build your side deck to what you think you're going to be facing the most. Uh, in this one, I've got one artifact site. You set it off the Dagda. Uh, if you can do the combo turn one and it just can win you games. Uh, I believe Ghost Bell is really good this format i think it hits just a little bit more than skullmeister and i don't think dino is going to be as super prevalent as it has been in past formats uh, so i think you need to play bell over meister especially with drytron running around um we're gonna play three radian uh you want the dark because it is a super poly target when we do play super poly um you just want the dark and it also uh can get rid of problem monsters like dragoon zeus uh anything like that and um, let you be able to continue playing. You play the three Super Poly, it is an out to Dragoon, it's an insane card in Shadal's. You can also main it instead of something like the Book of Moons. Uh, then I also have uh, just something like three Dark Ruler No More. Sometimes you pwn it, you know, there are a few big decks that put up a lot of uh, combos and uh, you just want something like Dark Ruler again. Whatever your local meta is, uh, there are always flex spots in your side deck. And then lastly, you're going to want to play something like Trap Trick. Um, when you're going first, sometimes you just want to make sure you see all of your trap cards. But that's what I got here. A little bit of a budget version, like I said, I think at the beginning of the video. Uh, all it takes is three Shadal Structure decks and maybe about $75 to $80 uh, for the remainder of the deck. Um, it's a, it's a really good deck. It's a really fun deck. I don't think it's ready to pop, probably go to a regional unless you're playing some of uh, the more expensive things like Ice Dragon's Prison, the Selene play where you can, uh, Selene back a monster and then drop access code talker. Um, you probably want to pick all those up before getting into some super competitive play, but this should be fine for your locals. And, um, also one last thing before I, I, I go, um, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to be posting a lot more in the year 2021. And then we're also going to be doing a giveaway. Once this video reaches 15 likes, uh, comment down below. Never forget 78. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to Team Golden Age here on YouTube. And we'll be doing a giveaway for a Team Golden Age t-shirt. And like I said, once we get 15 likes on this video... Uh, we will be giving away a Team Golden Age t-shirt as long as you comment down below. Never forget 78. Thanks for watching.